I'd make you a very quick video about this body bag um, because you might be seeing, well you won't be seeing it every single day but you might be seeing quite a lot of it um, over the next few weeks so I'm going to make a concerted effort to get it finished but have, if you can look at this you might not get the full picture of it um, the width at the minute is just about, I'll just get a ruler at the moment I'd say it's 60 centimetres wide well I want it at least 90 centimetres wide and it's 60 centimetres long and I want it over 100 centimetres long don't ask me what that is in inches I haven't a clue I prefer to work I personally prefer to work in inches but I don't have an inch rule so that's why I did it in centimetres so what I'm doing with Simply Stitch 4 I started this in an earlier class, it wasn't Simply Stitch 4, it might have been 3 or 2, I can't remember, but it's evolving and it's continuing through all of them along with other things. Um, I first thing I did was embroidered these panels, um, applique on silk with broderie on glaze and some quite pretty printed fabric, and then I pleated a lot of muslin on my pleating machine, I have a pleating machine, um, to intersperse with the silk I've got some more muslin panels here okay and then I've basically just been joining them together and trying to assess how much more embroidered silk I need and although I need double the length and a little bit extra on the width that doesn't necessarily equate to an awful lot more embroidery because it's going to be built up with these so you know, um, so I'm not overly stressed about that. So, and then when I've joined them, I've got tacking threads everywhere. I've then been embellishing the seams again, where the silk meets the muslin. So some of these seams have got a double row of embellishment, like here, there's little tiny stab stitches and cross stitch. Here, there's little tiny stab stitches and bullion knots. Over here it's just got stab stitches and it may well get another edge of something else and the same there. Um, here I've got bullion knots and stab stitch. Here I've got French knots and stab stitch. So there's quite a few need doubling up because I like to double up. It's kind of an extra thing going to the nth degree. If you've done a wrapping cloth class you'll know about that. So here running stitch and buttonhole lace and then I'm adding tabs okay across where the muslin is there's one there there's one there and there's one here and they're kind of like to represent extra binding and extra security and um, because this is called a body bag because it's going to be like a sleeping bag um, that metaphorically I'm going to put my kids in to keep them safe so this is all about binding and safety and wrapping and strengthening that binding so that's it basically but I just thought I'd explain it to you a little bit because people say to me why is it called the body bag well that is why it's called the body bag but you can see I try and do each silk panel differently and um, so there's those two are very different and then round here that's got text on it that says hexagon it's a bit bulky in places because the back isn't trimmed yet I'm leaving that till the end and I probably will leave a lot of that bulk in to keep the weight. Uh, this one has got like little framed areas with stitching in. This one's more free. It's got a kind of free applique shapes that are stitched down. Over here there's a formation of a flower with petals and then just random circles. And the same over here, it's like random circles with little framed areas. And then here another floral thing going on so they're all pretty different there's, there's continuity throughout in terms of colour and fabric and stitches and there's also continuity in terms of surface shape but being used I hope in a different way so that it's not the same all the way through so that's that I just wanted to share that with you um, so you could get a bit of a closer look at it really and that continuity continues on the tabs same stitches, same patterns, same surface stitch, shapes, same colours, same fabrics. So I hope you enjoyed that and you'll be a bit more, be able to relate to it a bit more if you seem to feel as if you've seen a lot of pictures of it. Okay.